Chiefs say we evolved into that. Weakest link tonight on NBC and Peacock. Well, Taylor Swift's new single setting new records. Her album come at 1.6 million uh, in a single day. Whoa. And it's a little track sold over 2 million in its first week. I actually listened to some Taylor Swift yesterday. Oh, did you know? Yes, and I thought of Jessica because she loves Taylor Swift. Oh. No. <laughs> she says no. Anyway, uh, Disney also has released the latest movie trailer for their third movie. It's called Deadpool. Are you a fan? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I figured. <laughs> Sam Rubin actually has all the details for us in today's entertainment report. We start here with something classic that is suddenly modern. Remember the Dead Poet Society, the feature film with Robin Williams and some young actors who went on to big careers, Ethan Hawke and Josh Charles among them. Well, captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. Do you hear me? Sit down. Sit down. This is your final warning, Anderson. How dare you? Do you hear me? Well, Captain, my captain. A reunion of sorts between Ethan and Josh on the music video for Fortnite. Taylor Swift's new music video from the Tortured Poets Department, her new record. Josh Charles to social media to praise Taylor as a director of the video and celebrating his reunion with Ethan. I don't like keeping secrets, so that was hard. I didn't even tell my kids until the other day. Here's a couple of tortured old poets about to board an early flight to be pop stars for a day. Been through a lot with this dude over the years, but safe to say this was a most memorable day. We were treated with such class by Taylor and her crew from beginning to end. What I'll remember most was the laughter. There was a lot of it, like we were 17 all over again. Now, to a reunion of another sorts, to the big screen, movie fans know one huge summer movie is another visit from Deadpool, but he is not alone. Wolverine brought out of retirement to join him. Frenemies, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman play the title characters, and the trailer dropped earlier today. Life is a mystery. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. Boys are so silly. This is what I'm talking about. Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? That movie opens July the 26th. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. Okay, I could see myself going to that. Okay. Me too. To the Deadpool. I, I'll probably be going to see that one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wasn't, wasn't allowed to watch the movies when I was still uh, <laughs> under my parents' roof. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Since then, have viewed them. Pretty funny. Yeah. So pretty I'll probably funny. be going to see that one. Yeah, sure. and I like the Deadpool attitude, you know? Yeah. Like he's kind of just quirky in his own little way, or in kind of smart alley. <laughs> yes, he is. Than, yeah. the, than the other ones, so. Yeah, he's he, he's funny. If it's if it's up, if it's for you, you know what right. I mean? It's definitely one of those things where it's like, if you don't, yeah, Danielle's over there like, not for no, me. No. <laughs> if it's not for you, and that's okay, <laughs> and you know what? I respect that. So it's definitely, you. you know, you got to know what you like when it comes to the Deadpool movies. Absolutely. But. So yeah. did you guys listen to uh, Taylor Swift's new album? I've heard a couple songs. I've probably heard like the first maybe three or four. No, actually, I take that back. I've heard a few of her songs when I was doing laundry. Oh, okay. I was like, let me see what the hype is about. Okay. But I can't really remember any of them except for uh, the Post Malone song and the Dead Poet song. Yeah. Other than that, I'm just like. I, the only one I listen to is Post Malone. And I was very disappointed because he's just like a backup vocalist in it. Makes sense, yeah. Mm, guys, I've only heard a couple as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, it doesn't, nothing sticks as well. I've only paid attention, I guess, to uh, the first two songs. Okay. Then other than that, it was just background noise. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I, I heard from one of my cousins, shout out uh, Tegan. She is a <laughs> major Swifty. Mm -hmm. Respect, you know, to each their own. Um, but she said that this album is truly for the, you know, deep fans that are really into Taylor. Okay. So not so much surface level album. Okay. So just maybe that's why, you know, for know. us, we're kind of like, eh. 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 <laughs> well.
Well, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> well, could it be a good day to listen to Taylor Swift? Uh, I mean, if you like her, yeah, every day is a good day to sure. listen to Oh, <laughs> All right. every day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be a good day to be outside today. Better than yesterday, we have uh, less uh, lower rain chances going into this afternoon. There's a live look, Farm Bureau. Not a lot of traffic on the road quite yet. And you'll see you've got a lot of this light green kind of trying to push through on the screen. And